I was going to just ask you about the low ball offer, and you answered the question. You were reading my mind. Let's talk a, a little bit about home sellers. You touched on it. If they can, uh, do they take their home off the market and wait it out? Uh, let me give you a statistic, uh, Robert. I know you've seen it. Uh, there are now only 14 townhomes selling for every 100 available. That's down from 35 for every 100 earlier this year. Worse yet, for condos. Your thoughts? Well, do you know what, Manny? Um, excellent stats. Those are you know, still macro, metro Vancouver stats. Frankly, they're worse in some areas and better in other areas. And that's why you want to reach out to you know, an experienced realtor such as myself, and I can tell you specifically, because that's what you want to know. How many homes in my category, condos, townhouses, single family? Because, for instance, in the single family market, there is 10 months worth of inventory in the market. That's why the single family is vulnerable to more price corrections and a better opportunity for a seller who absolutely has to sell their home. So better opportunities for the buyer. So you want to be asking those types of questions. And you know what? For the sellers, you need to price your home um, sharply and it needs to be decluttered and you're probably going to have to do some of those things that you normally wouldn't have to do like paint. Um, I know we've talked recently, Manny, about maybe you know updating a kitchen. The buyer has so many options out there that they're just not going to take a, a handyman special right now unless it's really, really low. And I'm I'm seeing buyers expecting you know fifty, sixty, seventy, a hundred thousand off on homes that need thirty, forty thousand dollars in work. So you're gonna have to really sharpen your pencil and. The you know sellers are going to have to uh, put a little bit of sweat equity and a little bit of update equity into their homes to get it to move in this market.